Yo everybody, it is Rock of the Great coming to you with a video today that I thought would never happen. Here's a backstory. So Minimates is a brand from Diamond Select Toys. They are these little cool little Lego looking things, but don't call them Lego. And I've been into these for over a decade now. I love Minimates. They just don't get the love that they deserve in my opinion. Being on the Minimate forums and just being in the Minimate culture, G.I. Joe was almost the top brand that everybody was always asking for next to Star Wars. Oh, they even open up? Now, it, it's actually mind-blowing. It, it's, it's pretty crazy that these are finally happening. I feel like if Diamond Select ever does make the Star Wars brand or even just gets the DC license again, I think that's what could blow them up. Minimates need love. The box right here, now it has the nice Velcro with an opening. This is like a premium box. Feels really nice. Those Minimates look great and that's the Snake Eyes is all. Awesome. I mean, this is like a really cool set to get. Just like, it's got everyone you need. I mean, there's no uh, Duke, right? Duke? Duke? Dutch? Duke? Duke? Dookie pants. What? So these are fully posable as you could see and the cool things about these are they're fully interchangeable and I'm glad they're starting to promote that now. These things are so fun and I, I just want to let everybody know about Minimates because I want the brand to strive. Since the box is already a little ripped, I don't have any problem opening these even though I am not a box collector. The front image here looks so cool and it's really catching, I don't know if it's catching well in the camera but it's like a matte finish and I don't know it just looks amazing so let's open this up oh you guys know I don't keep boxes all right let's start off with Scarlet now I have to say the deco the paint deco and everything have been ramped up on these and the quality feels really good I've been buying mini mates for uh, like I said over a decade and uh, I'm noticing like a better feel to these I even noticed on the weapon on the crossbow right there, look at that, like on the, on her, uh, her, what is that, her gauntlet, her, her gloves, there's decals, the weapon is even detailed, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure they ever did that before, so I'm noticing a rise in the quality. I know we're always talking about the decline in quality in toys right now. Being a fan of Mini Mates for a while, I've noticed that the quality is going up, so I'm very happy, and like I said, there's paint. There's little paint details everywhere. So first figure, Scarlet, really nice. Perfect. So here we go, we have Cobra Commander. Now I know, uh, I think Hasbro said they're not allowed to do the hooded Cobra Commander. But I think the hood, Hasbro said they're not allowed to do that because hoods are bad, you know, even though he's a bad guy. Uh, again, the details and the decals, everything's painted and it's very high quality feeling. Like. The gauntlets right there, look at the gauntlets on his, he's got gold trim and there's like blue shading, black shading on the arms. These are probably like if you're ever going to get into Mini Mates, wh what they're probably doing is they, they know G.I. Joe fans are going to come in and they're going to like get this line and then maybe they're going to go to other characters. So now here we go, here's Storm Shadow. Now he comes with a ton of accessories, so we have a bow. We have two arrows that go in the sheath. Again, arrows are painted on the bottom silver. The face is like a great face paint right there. Really good painted details, decals. Look at that. Oh, here we go. The sword goes in. You get the knife in the back right there. I'm sure the sword could go in there too, but I'm not forcing it. I'm telling you, these are like really well painted. Very nice. So here we go. Last but not least, everybody's favorite ninja, Snake Eyes. Look how nice this figure is. Uh, really nice. The shading, they got the blue shading. Does his mask come off? Does his mask come off? Oh, let's see who's under here. No one. As they should, right? I know people get mad when they unmask uh, Snake Eyes. No one under the mask, but it looks like he actually has the helmet on, so it's a nice uh, sculpted head. They got the visor, not like a decal, and he just has, he's like kind of like the Punisher. He has places to put his weapons. Look at that. So you could put the knife in the side. We could put the gun in the other side. This is kind of like, this reminds me of the... This reminds me of the Punisher figures. There you go, and then look, sword in the back. Uh, uh, uh. Or does this go to this him? Wait, is this his sword? Hold on a second. Does this sword go to him? 
Here you go. One of these swords go to somebody, so. All right, so here you go. He's all armored up. He's got the blades, the guns, the sword, and he's ready to take on Cobra. Huge shout out to all my channel members. Without you guys, I couldn't do this on YouTube. And if you wanna support, the link to join is always down below. Basically, it's Patreon for YouTube. Help support today, thank you guys. So here you go guys, thanks for watching. Shout out to Diamond Select Toys. And everybody, check out Minimates, man. I'm telling you, I love them, and I want the brand to grow. I want Minimates to make more stuff. Let me know down below, do you like Minimates? Are you gonna go pick them up? Do you like G.I. Joe? I know a lot of people love G.I. Joe, especially a lot of viewers, because when we go on toy hunts, they're always asking for G.I. Joe. So let me know, are you gonna pick up one of these? Leave a comment to help the algorithm, and I'll see you in the next toy review. Bye guys. Hey guys, want to send something into the channel? I have a P.O. box. Everything gets opened up in their own video on the channel.